All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by evaluating my terms. So we have nine to the power of 900 and nine to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well, 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of, properties of exponents to do this. So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now, from here, I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible, and we can't really get the exact value because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. And this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of 8 is equal to 2. So I'm going to first start by taking the power of 8 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 8 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And now I'm going to switch the places of these two. So I get x to the power of 8 to the power of x to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now I can rewrite 2 to the power of 8 as 2 to the power of 4 times 2. <clears throat> and if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this turns into x to the power of 8 to the power of x to the power of 8 is equal to 2 squared to the power of 4, meaning x to the power of 8 to the power of x to the power of 8 is equal to 4 to the power of 4, 
And because it's in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So x to the power of a is equal to 4. And if I take the eighth root on both sides, I get x is equal to the eighth root of 4.